guys, this is Geeky Artist. First and foremost, I would like to apologize for my mic. My mic's messed up, and there's a really annoying sound in the background, so I'm really sorry for that. Second of all, I'd like to apologize for not making videos lately. I've been busy with stuff. So this is just a quick update for you guys, and a very quick tip. So, to all of those iPod Touch users out there, I'll be making more iPod Touch videos soon, because I've been messing up with Anyway, um, this is for those who don't know yet, so if ever you have um, an iPod Touch, and then Windows suddenly doesn't recognize your iPod Touch anymore, so it happens. I had read in an article that iTunes actually disables Windows in recognizing um, your iPod Touch. So it, that's not from me, I just read it from an, an article. So if that happens, if you plug in your iPod, then you cannot access it uh, using your Windows Explorer, then this is a quick tip on how to restore it. So you just go to your control panel, Windows Vista, you can also do this on Windows XP and Windows 7. Go to autoplay, find your device, so it's somewhere here, okay here we go, iPod Touch, and then select for the option. So you can import pictures using Windows, you can ask user and what to do so that's what I'm going to select hit save and boom so I'm just going to connect my device and there we go so Windows now recognizes your iPod touch so basically it recognizes your iPod touch as a camera device so when you use iTunes it well it displays photos but you cannot actually transfer your photos from your iPod to your PC. You have to use a software uh, called iPhone Browser. So I'll just put the link in the description if you want to use that. But if you're just after your screenshots, which is um, saved in a separate folder called Saved Photos, then you can use the technique I had um, told you. Well, it's not really a technique, but a tip that I had told you. So when you open this um, using Windows Explorer, you'll be taken to your screenshots. Um, those are the pictures that you had taken um, using the screenshot method. So if you don't know how to do that yet, all you need to do is press the home button and the power button at the same time and boom, you can get a screenshot of your iPod. So that's really cool. Anyway, so this is just a quick video for you. I hope I helped um, those who had problems accessing their saved photos. So more videos to come, especially on iPod Touch videos, I'll be making more soon. And thanks for watching this video. So more videos to come. I apologize for the mic. And uh, as always, guys, just have fun and see you.